I'm first alert to meteorologist Jeff Ray. Let's talk about the cold. How about freezes? Because we're going to be down into the mid 30s tomorrow morning. We were in the upper 30s for a low this morning. A little bit of a chill in the air. But uh, take a look at that number in the far right, 39 degrees. That was this morning. Now on the far left, 32 degrees. That was back in January 22nd, three weeks ago. That's the last time DFW hit freezing. An interesting thing, forecasted lows at DFW. Yeah, keep those winter coats handy because we'll be down in the 30s tomorrow morning. Then again on Sunday, but no freezes in the forecast over the next 10 days. And that takes us to the 22nd of February. It was in January we got all our cold, all bunched in that two-week period. A total of 12 freezes, including a temperature down to 11 degrees, one of the colder temperatures we've had in the last three years. But it's interesting to note, outside of that, not much in freezing. October had no freezes. November had just one. December had just one. We had 12 in January and none in February so far. As we take a look at some freeze facts, we've had a total of 14 freezes this season. That's about half of what we typically get in a season. That last freeze being January 22nd, your average last freeze typically isn't till March. Uh, some other notes is that back in 2017, our last freeze turned out to be on January the 8th. That was the earliest last freeze on the record books. That's the start of the growing season. We don't have any more freezes, and you can see how we've had a, a bunch of really early last freezes so far this century, including 2000 when it was back in February 5th. Right now, the one stands on January 22nd. So that would go second on the list if indeed we have no more freezes until mid-March or until we get into late March when you typically have the end of the freezing season. We'll keep that uh, eye on that, I should say, as we get through the rest of winter.